Hi, my name's Ali and um, I'd like to thank you for watching my channel, Like She Has. Um, so welcome all bird lovers. I'd just like to take the time to explain some of the details about sprouting that I left out of my last video. Um, and they're based on questions that I've had through comments and messages um, on YouTube. So I'd just like to start with um, why sprout seeds. Okay, so if you have um, dry seed, it's basically it's in it's high in fat content, um, it's nutrition poor, and it's mainly carbohydrates and fats that you're feeding your bird. Um, so if that's the sole diet of your bird, it is a very nutritionally poor diet and um, you will not get a long life expectancy and you may see some major health complications as well. Um, on the other hand, sprouted seed has a much lower fat content, it has a higher protein content, it's a living food because it is actually alive when you're feeding it to them and it's full of a whole range of enzymes that they just don't get from dry seed that could be sitting there for months on end. Um, so that's why to sprout seed and if you're going to feed your bird only one type of thing, which I don't recommend, but if you're going to feed them just one thing, then sprouts are the way to go. So now I just want to talk about the types of seeds that you can sprout. Um, I use my budgie seed but you can get any packets of budgie, finch, canary, cockatiel seeds, any, any type of parrot seeds and um, they should sprout fine. If they don't sprout, it is because they are either really old and stale or they've been irradiated or maybe you're not doing it right. So um, yeah. Um, other types of things that you can also sprout include grains and that can be things like brown rice, um, millet or quinoa. Um, quinoa is also pronounced quinoa and it is actually a semi-seed uh, and it germinates within 12 hours so it's a great one for if you have run out of your sprouted seeds and you want to give them something. Um, so I use that as a backup as well as just a day-to-day -day food. Um, you can also sprout legumes like chickpeas and mung beans, uh, azuki beans, black eyed beans, kidney beans, lentils, any kinds of beans that you can think of, you can sprout. Now they may actually take a little bit longer to germinate, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, other types of things that you can also sprout include alfalfa seeds, um, other spices like caraway and fennel seeds. Um, so, you know, it might be worth looking in your spice cupboard to see what other seeds you've got around that you can try to sprout. Um, so with the rates of germination, generally the smaller seeds will sprout faster. But this all depends on the weather and the conditions that you've got your sprouts in. So um, basically you want to have um, somewhere that's, that's reasonably warm if you want a fast germination. and um, the bigger the seed, generally the longer it will take to sprout. Um, if you find that only half your seeds are sprouting, that indicates that the bird seed that you're using is really poor quality and it would be good to find something better than that. Um, so, and the different, something else I wanted to talk about was the difference between sprouts and grasses because some people think that when I'm talking about sprouting, I'm actually meaning growing the grasses um, you know, which is the next stage on from sprouting. Um, so I, I, I do sprouting and I grow them till they're about that big. Um, and that's about as long as I want them to grow. If they grow longer than that, then it's very easy to put them in a pot and keep, keep watering them and they will grow into grass shoots. And you can let your grass shoots grow about that big. Um, and then pop them in the cage with your birds um, or you can put them in your veggie garden and um, let them grow to full size and they'll produce their own seed heads which you can feed to your budgies or your other parrots fresh uh, which is also a very ideal thing to do. Um, another thing, if you're going to use um, budgie or finch seeds or anything like that 
If you can get some that don't have shell grit in them, that would be excellent because with the shell grit, um, there can be problems because if you use apple cider vinegar, it is going to eat away at the shell grit and I'm not sure exactly what could happen from that, but for me, it's just not worth the risk of contaminating my seeds um, through the calcium coming out of the shell grit with the apple cider vinegar. Um, also, some bird seeds have little nutrient pellets in them as well. Um, they are not ideal for putting in a seed mix because they will make bacteria grow really quickly. So that's something that's worth avoiding. Um, if not, if, if that's your only option, then just make sure that you wash them frequently um, and smell them frequently to make sure that no bacteria is growing and, of course, apple cider vinegar or um, grapefruit seed extract, which I haven't used, but a lot of other people use and they recommend it highly. Um, so, what else is there? Um, just a couple of tips that I wanted to say. Um, when you're going to sprout, Keep your seeds moist. Um, so that means if you rinse them a couple of times a day and like in my other video, you put a paper towel on the top of your, your cup um, or container and tilt it so that it's at a 45 degree angle so that the water can drain out of it, but the paper towel staying moist helps to keep the rest of it moist. Um, so yeah, rinse it regularly. Keep it in a low light place. Some sunlight's okay, but direct sunlight, um, you're just going to end up with really dry seeds or seeds that have got bacteria in them. So, yeah, you want to keep them um, in a low light condition. Use the apple cider vinegar or use grapefruit extract. Um, other than that, there's not things that I'm aware of that are good for making sure the bacteria stays out of it. Um, so, when you grow them, um, if they so, so they've sprouted and you can see the little little shoots that have come out. Um, basically, what you want to do is once once they get to you know that long, you want to put them in the fridge. And the way I do it is I get a container and I put a paper towel down underneath, put the, the sprouted seeds in there, cover it, put it in the fridge. And every day I can take it out and I change the paper towel and eventually it becomes dry. It's okay for sprouted seeds to be dry when they're in the fridge. In fact, it's ideal because if you've got the moisture in there, then they're going to go soggy and they're going to rot. Um, so if they, if they get to the stage where they're, you know, this, this long, um, then you've probably gone too far, um, but that's, that doesn't mean you have to chuck them out. So yeah, you can put them in your garden or you can put them in a little container with some dirt and grow them up to, you know, this big or you can you can let them go completely full size in your garden. Um, and the other thing with refrigeration that I just wanted to say was that if you're going to refrigerate um, seed after you've sprouted it, then make sure when you take it out and before you give it to your bird, Give it a good rinse and make sure that it has has um, been run through hot water to take the chill off the seeds because it's it's not very good to feed birds really cold food, particularly things that have been refrigerated. Um, so that's about it as far as um, you know the tips and suggestions and um, the answers to questions that I've had, but. Um, yeah, I, I'm really interested to know what other people's experiences of sprouting are. So um, if you've got a different way of doing it or, um, you know, if you've got other questions or anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. Um, so, yeah, please um, comment, send me messages, if um, you know, share your videos with me because I'd love to learn as much as I can about birds as well because, you know, that's what this place is all about, isn't it? You know, just sharing our bird information. So, yeah, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Um, and, yeah, I hope you and your birds are happy and healthy. See you later.